The Deep Levantine Roots of the Jewish People Ashkenazi Sephardi Mizrahi One People, One Origin When people think about the Jewish people today, they often imagine a tapestry of diverse diaspora communities. Ashkenazi from Eastern Europe, Sephardic from Spain, and the Mediterranean. Mizrahi from the Middle East and Central Asia. But beyond this diversity lies a common origin, one that traces back thousands of years to the land of Israel. This isn't just a cultural or religious claim. It's written in our DNA. Thanks to advances in ancient DNA analysis, we now have compelling genetic evidence that major Jewish diaspora groups are partially descended from the biblical Israelites of the Bronze and Iron Age Levant, the same time periods that gave rise to the Hebrew Bible, the Temple in Jerusalem, and the early Jewish people. When scientists model Jewish populations using ancient DNA from Canaanite, Israelite, and Phoenician remains, groups native to the Southern Levant, the results are striking. Ashkenazi Jews, 45 to 55% Bronze Iron Age Levantine ancestry. Sephardic Jews, 50 to 60 percent Levantine. Mizrahi Jews, 60 to 70 percent, especially those from Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. When we com- and when we compare these groups to the modern Samaritans who remained in the Levant continuously and are seen as genetic time capsules of ancient Israelites. Jewish groups consistently show strong affinity. Of course, after thousands of years in exile, Jewish populations didn't remain genetically static. Living among host populations, Jews inevitably mixed to some extent, often modestly, with surrounding peoples. Ashkenazi Jews absorbed some Southern European and Eastern European DNA. Sephardic Jews integrated Iberian, North African, and Balkan ancestry. Mizrahi Jews, while often less admixed, show some Persian, Arabian, Arabian, and Caucasian input. But here's the key. Despite these regional differences, the core Middle Eastern Israelite ancestry remained strong, linking all Jewish, all Jewish groups back to a common ancestral population, the ancient Hebrews. But being part of the Middle East isn't just about blood. It's also about language, religion, culture, and tradition. Jews kept the Hebrew language alive, even in exile. Hebrew prayers, Torah readings, and blessings have echoed for millennia, whether in Morocco or Poland, Baghdad or Brooklyn. Jews retained ancient Semitic customs, circumcision, kosher dietary laws, Passover seders, all rooted in the same traditions practiced by the Israelites over 3,000 years ago. Our synagogues, our chants, our clothing, and calendar all preserve the flavor of ancient Israel and its surrounding Levantine world. In short, we never left the Middle East, even when we were far from it. Today, the story comes full circle. In modern Israel, we are seeing something extraordinary. The ingathering of Jewish diaspora groups, each bringing their own experience of exile, yet all sharing a common Levantine root. Ashkenazi Jews, once thought the most quote-unquote European, show 50% Israelite ancestry. Sephardim and Mizrahim, often closer genetically and culturally to the ancient Levant, are now the majority in Israel. Intermarriage is rising, blending once separated communities into a single, diverse, yet united people. The result? The ancient Israelite component in Israeli society is stronger than ever, not just genetically, but culturally and spiritually. You may ask, how do modern Jews compare to Samaritans, the closest living living relatives of ancient Israelites? While Samaritans Samaritans have remained geographically rooted, Jews have carried the spiritual and genetic torch of Israel across continents. 
Genetic studies show that Jews and Samaritans both descend from the same Bronze and Iron Age Levantine stock, with Jews exhibiting broader diversity due to the diaspora. Yet even with admixture, Jews from all corners of the world, from Yemen to Ukraine, still show strong genetic proximity to ancient Israelites and Samaritans alike. This is remarkable. After 2,000 years, Jews are still genetically tied to their ancestral homeland. The Jewish people are often seen as a religion or an ethnicity. But what we truly are is an indigenous Middle Eastern people with a historical, cultural, spiritual, and biological connection to the land of Israel. We were born from the hills of Judea. We sang psalms by the Jordan River. And we built our first temple in Jerusalem. These are not metaphors. They are historic and genetic facts. We are not outsiders to the Middle East. We are part of its fabric. One of the oldest Semitic peoples still walking the earth. And now, after exile, walking once more in our homeland. So next time you hear about Ashkenazi, Sephardi, or Mizrahi Jews, remember, these are not separate peoples. They are branches of one ancient tree, a tree rooted in the soil of Israel, nourished by faith, memory, and resilience, and now blooming again in our time. From Bronze Age Canaan to modern Tel Aviv, the Jewish story is a Middle Eastern story, a Levantine story, and it is still unfolding. Am Yisrael Chai.